Uh, hey guys, how you going? Uh, just a quick one today. We're going to do a quick run over the car. Uh, getting a lot of questions on uh, dual battery systems, so we're going to talk about that, and uh, we'll have a look at some uh, canopy setup as well. So the car's a 2019 uh, SX model. Uh, pretty much the only thing I've sort of done to it. Had a TJM outback bar put on, uh, 22 inch light bar from Nava uh, that come with the with the bull bar. Bull bar comes with uh, rated recovery points uh, as part of the bar, and as you can see, you get a full a full skirt as well. So nothing spectacular there. Um, in the engine bay, Provent catch can and pre-filter system from uh, Direction Plus, and that's all fitted up by TJM. Uh, dual battery system, okay. Um, I run uh, six BNS, okay, so negative, positive, and in there is a little, uh, that's a 40 amp uh, midi fuse on the positive. Uh, obviously this car runs a smart alternator, uh, so it's, well, it's not so much a drawback, it's just one of the things you've got to live with now, all the cars are coming out with smart alternators. Um, so I run a Red Arc uh, 1225D, uh, and it has a blue wire, which is a little blue wire you see down there. Um, basically I run it straight from the engine bay. Some guys have you know, had success about you know, plugging into accessories in the dash, that sort of thing, I thought. If you sort of start from here anyway, you, then your, your miles will sort of start the blue wire. Uh, so how I've done that is there's obviously uh, spare fuses you'll find uh, in the case of the, the D-Max here. Um, and that's just a little uh, double adapter uh, you pick up from J-Car and you wire that and obviously join that to your blue wire. And then I've just run the blue wire in the conduit with the negative and the positive and you'll see that uh, in the canopy. Um, so that just allows you to basically run... The, uh, obviously replace the original okay and that's just in, in an auxiliary socket so once the car's running then this because obviously becomes live okay so the uh, 10 was the original all right and then it's fairly very small wire and just just a 5 amp fuse there okay and you can see the little prongs um, I had to modify cut some plastic away there but um, anyway that's how we overcome the uh, the smart alternator um, so if you're not 100% on smart alternators, basically once they've charged, recharged the crank battery, um, to save fuel, etc., the alternator will then wind down and only provide a trickle charge. Now that can drop below the threshold of the DC to DC. So the DC to DC without that blue wire gets tricked into thinking that the car is off, okay, and it will uh, it basically it'll stop charging, uh, taking power from the crank battery, okay. Um, other than that, yeah, just uh, the run of the mill. The car has had a GVM upgrade from Petters, um, and that's just uh, thinking ahead further down the track um, for later on for us towing a caravan. At the moment, we tow a small Jayco little uh, wind up camp trailer. Um, if you're going to go GVM too, if you can, get a pre rego because that way you don't have to pay the $600 to the uh, engineer to sign off on it so it's pre-rego so they can do it all at, at Petters. Uh, factory side steps uh, the car did come with a uh, with a wheel setup so just uh, matte black steel rims all right and uh, uh, wild peak all trains uh, nothing flash inside uh, so I'll move back to the canopy okay so the canopy was built by uh, Ward's Aluminium in Townsville. I, he does them on a case-by-case -case basis. He doesn't do make bulk items. It's all, uh, as you can see, it's all flat uh, three mil all the way through, and that's uh, all uh, marine grade aluminium. I then added the Dometic uh, 80 litre fridge. I just run a small. Uh, the fridge is not at the moment, all right, and that's just a. Um, a small fridge thermometer and you just run I just ran the wire in the door there you can get um, little uh, Bluetooth ones if you don't want to you know, run the cord in there 
Uh, the only thing I did do with the fridge is I added another tray. Otherwise, it's just items sit on the plastic tray here, and some guys have um, uh, broken them, etc. So I've just added a, a second one. Um, inside, just a couple of ice bricks there. That uh, little freezer, if you want to, you can completely remove that and turn the whole thing into a fridge if you don't want the small freezer. Um, in the door, that'll take a, a full two litre milk, no dramas at all. Uh, and as I said, that's uh, 80 litres. Uh, basically how that's mounted is, um, we've got Warge Aluminium to stick me in a little subframe here. So two bars on either side, and then there's a cross member behind there and the, as the, uh, the same size tubing. Um, then as an accessory, you can order the Dometic uh, flush mount, okay, and then that's just screwed into those, uh, to those braces. Uh, there's nothing on the bottom, the fridge just uh, sits under its own weight. Right, and uh, that's what holds the fridge in there basically. I haven't got around yet. I will probably get a little aluminium shroud to go around the fridge uh, just so it doesn't get knocked about. Uh, it's been pretty much, I don't carry a lot in here because of the camper trailer, so I, I don't necessarily live out of this uh, like some blokes do. Um, uh, that's just a couple of little torches uh, I got from uh, Kick Ass or 12 Volt Direct. So they act as a torch. Uh, they do white, yellow, and a blue and red flashing light. Um, and they also act as a power bank, so you can actually charge your phone off those as well. And they just have little magnets. And then around the canopy, I've placed little steel strips. All right, so that I can attach the magnets and get those lights up there. So that, they're basically my lighting system. Um, comes with four whale tail locks. I did all the uh, the carpeting. This is uh, automotive carpet from Bunnings. And then I don't put anything on the floor because it makes it easy to clean other than just rubber matting from Bunnings. So you just remove that and uh, you can just sweep everything out. Or if you spill something, it's no dramas. Uh, behind that carpet is uh, foil board from Bunnings, which is my insulation. That's 15 mil. Uh, that's stuck on with... Um, Sikaflex, uh, I think 252 is the one I used, and then the carpet is stuck to the foil board uh, with artificial grass adhesive. You can obtain all that from Bunnings. Um, I also had uh, Ward's Aluminium attach these blocks for me, and then just uh, drill a hole and then reattach the original, uh, the original latches. Okay, and that just gives me a little sort of a wet area throw dirty recovery gear in there, smelly fishing gear, that sort of thing. Um, so it's not inside the canopy. Uh, spare wheel setup, so he does a good job. Um, as you can see, no padlock required. The plate here allows you to have different size tires, all right? So it just moves up and down depending on how big your tires are. So these are, uh, these are 265, 26570 SAR16s, all right, and the bolt just goes uh, straight through the plate. Obviously, a washer there, and we'll see the inside in a minute. Uh, on the back is Heyman Reese uh, bull bar. Uh, I believe that they do, they're making a model for fit your style side ute now, which is good. Um, center recovery point is 8 ton, outsides are 4 ton each. You use a bridle between the two outside, you still get uh, uh, 8 ton rate of recovery and still toe ball and tongue still rated for three and a half ton so you'd see on the other side basically a, a plate is welded on straight through uh, with a bolt washer nylock nut and then a pin all right, so you don't have to worry about carrying around keys and padlocks jingling around and rusting, etc., etc. All right, if someone wants to put a spanner on that, obviously that's the use of the pin. It's a nylock nut anyway. The whole thing's just going to turn, and even if the nylock nut does come undone, it's going to go as far as the pin, and that's going to be the end of it. I guess at the end of the day, if they really want your tire, they can have your tire, um, like any spare tire setup. Um, 
with the spare tire that's a i didn't want anything hanging over the rear because i'm gonna you know have a caravan down the track with you know 250 kilos of ball weight i don't need the spare tire hanging over the edge and just adding to that ball weight right um, and it's easier on the chassis not having the weight of the tire hanging off the back as well uh, especially you guys with your with your dual cabs right this is obviously a space cab so i do have a fair amount of canopy in front of the wheel which is a good thing um, on the inside uh, so that's our line there uh, coming in to the dc to dc from the crank battery and you can just see the little blue wire following the remainder um, so that's plugged into the red arc 1225d all right, and you can see it ticking away on solar at the moment without the car running um, these little ports here they're just the charges for those little uh, power packs uh, torches that I showed you before and obviously that runs the 80 litre Waco so it's resting now here with the solar just trickle charging at 13.3 um, that's sort of about it with the canopy I guess oh, that's a 200 watt solar blanket but I mainly use that on the camper trailer battery um, when we're free camping up on top of the roof is a 160 watt solar panel that's from uh, BCF all right so nothing flash there just another Chinese panel all right and you can see all I've used is six pieces of alley angle Tech screws into the side of the panel and then that's sicker flex to the top right as you can see um, to prevent a little bit more heat as well I painted the top of the canopy white I mean you don't see it normally anyway so who really cares and that's just um, outdoor like solar house paint so nothing flash there so it was just etch primer and then the white paint over the top the only thing I painted is the doors um, yeah black's probably not the best option up here in North Queensland with the heat but with the insulation it's not too bad and with the color of the car I probably didn't have too much of a color choice anyway um, I got enough silver I don't need any more so I thought black would be an option and it's, it's quite good um, and that's just uh, Raptor liner so there's an etch primer and then two coats of Raptor liner and it's very uh, very scratch resistant so it's really really good like that um, like I said inside the car guys there's, there's nothing flashing there anyway um, in the box I run a full river 120 amp hour battery uh, it's pretty AGM pretty stock standard um, I will in the future probably add another one of those panels on the roof I've got enough room in there uh, to run another one and that'll just give me a little bit more leeway and obviously during the day it'll charge up a little, a little bit quicker um, other than that in the future oh how I've run the that's a solar wire coming in from the roof and all that is is underneath the panel okay there's a small a bit hard just another one of those um, cable glands and you can pick them up from J car they're, they're pretty cheap obviously the larger one is the input from the crank battery and the smaller one I'm yet to uh, to wire up and run another um, dual core 6 bns i'm running out of the battery out of that one and i'll go to the tow bar to charge the battery in the uh, camper trailer so a good thing about the hayman reese bars they give you really really good protection uh, for your plugs so that's a seven pin that runs to the little camper trailer and then when i run that other battery uh line out of the other battery that's where the uh, 50 amp anderson plug will go and now uh, the camp is already uh, fitted up with a, a 50 amp Anderson plug, which I previously had in my old Hilux. Um, so it's all ready to go. I just need to um, get off my ass and run that run that other line down to the down to there. Um, little reverse camera SX don't come with a reverse camera standard, so that was just an aftermarket job. Uh, but it's a good camera; it gives me a good view to the rear, and also I can see my ball, so that saves a lot of arguments with the missus. Looking up the trailer. Um, other than that, that's that's about it, guys. Uh, so I hope that helps a few people out anyway, because there are a lot of questions about 12 volt uh, and dual battery systems. Um, feel free to ask about any of the kit. Um, fridge has been running really well. Really happy with it. Um, 
I think it'll be better too once I get that other solar panel up there. So that'll that'll sort of that solar panel I've got is coping, okay, but it's only 160 watts. Um, so all that'll do is I, the the battery still stays above 50 percent or you know just on 50 percent. So another another solar will uh, you know, give me a bit of leeway anyway. Um, in the meantime, when I'm static, I can always hook up that uh, that 200 watt blanket. Anyway, all right. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, fire away, guys. But I hope that helps a few people out. Cheers.